Baby, I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into this video, does any of you remember the background? Yeah, it's actually a good place where I can make videos. I can just sit and talk here, right? The background is really cool. <laughs> but I cannot walk 1.5 miles from my home every day, every week. Well, guess what? I walked till here. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview about uh, US education system, basically about the coursework, assignments, uh, grading system, exams, types of exams, and etc. So my video structure is going to be as follows. First, I'm going to start with the coursework, like uh, what does the coursework contains, what all the elements does it contain, and like what is the weightage of each element, like assignment, like quiz, like assign uh, midterm, final exam, etc. etc. And then second, I'm going to talk about uh, assignments. What type of assignments do you get? How many assignments do you have in a semester for a course, particular course? And then uh, third, I'm going to talk about uh, the exams, types of exams, and like how are exams conducted? What type of questions you can expect? And then fourth, I'm going to talk about grading system in US. So without any ado, let's get started. So uh, starting with coursework, there is no fixed structure that every course must have uh, a number of assignments and a, m a number of exams so it completely depends on your professor for instance i've taken i've enrolled three courses last semester and each course had different number of assignments different number of exams etc like uh, for me in advanced design methodologies i had only uh, one final project and uh, probably six seven assignments and no exam and on the other side uh, in the material selection for engineering design i had assignments i had midterm i had final exam as well so it completely depends on your professor on like what to uh, include in the coursework beat exams beat assignments beat quizzes beat midterm etc so i can talk nothing about it so if you want to know about the course before you enroll it you have actually a grace period in which you can enroll the course and you can see if you like the course and the course structure and then drop it if you don't like it after talking to the professor or after attending one or two classes so that's a good part and secondly coming to the assignments there's no again same 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 applies to the assignments as well there's no fixed structure that you should have uh, n number of assignments or you should have this percentage to the assignments it's completely depends on the professor but i can say that the assignment questions are a lot more difficult than what i faced in my, my undergrad back in india so the, here the assignment questions are more research oriented so you need to dig up different research paper you need to read different literature in order to understand what you have to give explanation to that assignment again similar to ug you have all different types of questions you have problems to solve you have uh, theory questions to write you have literature to read and review it uh, by in your words so there are different types of questions but i can only say that the questions here are more research oriented you need to spend more time you need to invest more time into it by looking up different literature different research papers something like that i hope you get that idea and coming to the exams so 
exams uh, again we have different types of exams like quizzes midterm final exams again it's in professor's hands whether to keep what exam or what not uh, basically i had one course called material selection for engineering design last sem so my professor has given us uh, liberty like if you have above 90 percent till final exam before final exam including all the assignments project uh, including your individual group project including every aspect of that coursework if you have above 90 percent you can actually wave off the final exam so sometimes you get that sometimes you don't and it's really not in your hands it's completely dependent on professor and different types of exams are one is closed book exam which we all have experience been experiencing in, in india like you just read for the exam go and write and the other one is open book exam i don't know how many colleges had that but back in my ug i had open book exams and there is also another type of exam called cheat sheet exam where you will be allowed to take one small paper in which you can write whatever you want to but you should only use that paper while you are uh, writing the examination you should not use any other resource so uh, again what i observed was same like if you mug up or if you scrum up the formulas and go to the exam it's of no use because if it's an open book the other student will obviously have a book and he can just search for the formula so i believe you don't have any advantage by remembering any formula however you should like know like what goes behind that formula what by from where the derivation came and all that stuff to solve the problems and theoretical questions are mostly uh, like not direct from the textbook you need to analyze you need to form logics you need to form connections between different points of your concepts and then you need to relate and you need to give examples from your real life or your personal life or something something like that i can't reveal questions of my coursework they are they're not copyright free i mean every coursework uh, page has that copyright claim thing that we should not reveal the questions anywhere outside so i can't reveal that and coming to the grading of exams so like last semester i've took three courses from mechanical department the mechanical department had only one type of grading if you get above 90 it's four out of four in that subject and if you get uh, above 80 and below 90 it's three and so on but then this semester i took one course from automotive course which is slightly different it has uh, four 3.8 3.6 and stuff like that basically if you're above 93 percent of 200 like including all the aspects of coursework at the end of the semester you'll get an a a means you'll get an a plus which means four out of four if you get 93 below and 90 above you'll get a minus which is 3.8 so again it depends on the professor basically by now you should understand it's it's completely in the hands of professor on how to design the course structure of a course so that's it i just wanted to clear up because many of you in com in comment section and instagram were asking me how are exams in us how is coursework assignments and all that stuff i hope this clears that with that done if you like the content please like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel and if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and that's it sayonara so i'll keep hustling you keep struggling bitch i'm humbling keep mumbling i'll keep doubling you keep bluffing you've got nothing i'll keep hustling